Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to create and schedule your first post. You can create posts from any view in Loomly by clicking on the green New Post button at the top right of the screen. If you are on your dashboard, you will need to select the calendar in which you want to create your post. If you are already inside one of your calendars, you will automatically skip this step. This launches Loomly's Post Builder, which guides you step-by-step -step to create better content. Let's take a look. In step one, set a generic date and time for your post, which will apply to all your channels. You can take advantage of Loomly's scheduling slots feature to set your preferred publishing schedule and save time when creating new posts in Post Builder. Then define a subject only for reference inside Loomly and apply labels which help categorize your posts inside Loomly and filter your post metrics by labels in advanced analytics. Last but not least, Loomly suggests post ideas for inspiration based on Twitter trending topics, RSS feed entries, date-related events, social media best practices, and custom post ideas. When creating a post, you can save it as a draft anytime with the Save Draft button. In step two, select the social media icons corresponding to the channels where you want to publish your post. If you select Pinterest as a channel, this is where you pick your Pinterest board. In addition, Loomly's custom channel allows you to create and collaborate on content for any platforms that are not natively supported in Loomly. A quick tip. You can create a post for multiple calendars at once. For example, this is a time saver if you manage social accounts for a business spanning over different locations. In step three, define base content and upload base media files, which will automatically apply to all your selected channels. You can select media files in a few different ways, from your library, directly from your device, from a URL, from Jiffy, or from Unsplash. Ultimately, you can edit images with Loomly Studio in several different ways. Crop using custom or popular crop ratios, apply filters, make adjustments to the brightness, contrast, saturation, or focus of your file, and add text and overlays to your images. Then, Open Hashtag Manager to benefit from hashtag suggestions based on the copy of your post, discover trending hashtags, and create and edit your own hashtag collections. You can also create UTM parameters for your links to track the performance of your content. In addition, Loomly offers its own URL shortener, loom.ly. This is a convenient way to make long web addresses into short URLs when creating social media posts. As an added bonus, loom.ly URLs give you access to essential link metrics, including clicks, sources, and locations in advanced analytics. In step four, you can preview and fine tune your post for each social media channel. For instance, if you publish the same post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, you may want to have a base version of your post for Facebook, a shorter version for Twitter, sprinkle in hashtags for Instagram, and make it a bit more formal on LinkedIn. A quick tip, post optimization tips provide guidance on copy length, timing, format, and readability to ensure that your posts are best formatted for your audience. Step five is an optional step that allows you to publish more accurately with audience targeting capabilities. For Facebook, preferred audience organically targets who you would like to reach in Facebook newsfeed. Audience restrictions limits who will be able to see your post, and post sponsoring promotes your post with Facebook ads. For LinkedIn, you can organically target followers for company pages. In the final step, you can save your post as a draft, submit it for approval, schedule it for a specific date in the future, or even publish it immediately. Once you have created a post, you can preview it in Post View. Another popular approach to create posts in Loomly is to start from calendar view. Either save a date with a quick post as a placeholder or a launch post builder by clicking on build post. 
Finally, yet another option is to create posts and ads from Loonly's library. The library can be accessed by the book icon in your calendar's toolbar. Loomly's library offers the following features. Upload images or videos from your device. Upload images from Unsplash. Create notes to save text and links to use later. This is ideal when you come across a website you find useful or when someone in your team mentions an idea during a meeting. Create post templates. This is handy when you need to create posts with no date to reuse them whenever you need them. This is most helpful when you have an idea for a post but don't know when to publish it yet, or if you need a boilerplate for recurring posts that you want to publish over and over again with slight updates. Create video slideshows from still images in your library. And that's it. Log in to your dashboard now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team either through our chat or via email at contact at loomly.com. Thanks for watching this tutorial.